Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. So today we have three things that we're going to talk about. So it's kind of a preview of what's coming. Hopefully you like unboxings and first impressions. So one from Nomadic, one from Fitbit, and this big one right here from Furbo. So something for the dog. I think he's going to be pretty stoked. Small to big, we'll talk about them. I'll give you my, I don't want to say expert viewpoint, but pretty close, especially when it comes to wearables. This will be wearable 50 or 60. I've, I've honestly lost track and I need to update my spreadsheet. So definitely over 50 devices in the last seven years. And most of the devices well, Fitbit I've tested for probably, what is it, 30 million steps. Garmin, over 20 million steps. Samsung, over 10 million steps. Apple Watch, which is currently charging, definitely over a million steps. I think when you've used something a million times, I think that makes you close to an expert. And I spent a lot of time studying the UI. As for the camping gear from Nomadic, this is my third box. And I have done a lot of camping, so I'm curious to see what they sent me. The first two boxes were hammocks, so that was less than exciting because they're almost the same box, but one of them was free. All right, let's get to it. Here we go. The Fitbit Charge something. Shh. I am filming on the Samsung Galaxy Flip, and my battery is getting kind of low. So I'm going to charge this Fossil Gen 6. I have a detailed review coming out really soon on this device, which you'll like. So like and subscribe. And yes, old guys rule. And so do longboards. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, charge five. Nice little sanitary envelope there. Recyclable. Thanks, Fitbit. We have the Charge 5 Advanced Fitness and Health Tracker. Track, tracker, tracker. Includes a six month premium trial. Nice. That saves you 60 bucks. So we have the premium stainless steel case. Nice. 24 hour heart rate, etc., etc. Built in GPS. Very nice. Color screen, SBO2. Stress. So very similar to the Fitbit Sense that I reviewed last fall. Hmm, a box within a box. Oh, nice embossing. I like that Fitbit. And there we go, new to Fitbit. Download the app, done that. So I got the blue band. Wow, this reminds me a lot of the Fitbit Force, to be honest, and the early Fitbit charges. The band is smooth. We'll do a smell test. <laughs> <laughs> that does not smell good. It smells, uh, it smells like you just put on one of those clown masks. Okay, we're done with that. So we have the little envelope here. Ah, nice aluminum casing. No nickel there, so they don't get sued. We have like a sensor button. How does one turn it on? Hmm. Interchangeable watches. We'll watch bands. Oh, that's nice. They just kind of click in like that. Or not so. Okay, you kind of have to angle it. So you just pull that off. That's not too bad. Let's see what else is in the box. Charge to 100%. Okay, I'll do that for them. So here we have the proprietary charger, which is different from the last one I had, the Charge 4. Throw that away. Plug dish in. Ooh, very magnetic. I like that already. So the screen is vibrant. That is for sure. 63% and it thinks it's January 1st. Very nice. I'm in a bright room by a window, so I like that visibility. I will take it outside real quickly for you. 
So we'll charge that, style, and that's it. So that's the extra large band. So this is gonna take one of those, oh, I see, so it just, so they're kind of copied Apple yet again. Everyone seems to copy Apple. Nice, I like the comfort thing. Easy to adjust during the day because then you can just pop open another loop. That's probably how I wear it right about there. You want a little bit of slippage, but you don't want light leakage. You don't want your uh, light sensor to get interrupted by outdoor light. But I like this color. I chose the right color. I'm trying to think of what they call this color. I'm gonna call it aqua blue. So that's it, that's in the box. So I'm gonna charge this and synchronize it. And yeah, but I like the packaging. They did a good job on the packaging. I don't need the quick start guide. It's a bummer that they haven't done Qi wireless charging yet. That would be so awesome. Or if they just partnered with Apple, you know, and said, hey, we're gonna start using the Apple disks, you know, these. That would, that would be awesome. See, because I have one charger for the Apple, another charger for the Fossil. It's just so much electronic waste, right? So it was at 63, already at 69. So it charges quickly. I'll have more on that later. Next box. So this is a subscription base for about 30 bucks a month. And they send you new camping gear. Venture into the unknown, known, known. Nice box, and yes, it is not a hammock. Ooh. Okay, cool. Binoculars? That's a nice gift. I can use these for going to sporting events. Ooh, and they are tiny. They come with a cleaning cloth. Okay. Whoa. Let's see if I can see my neighbors through my window. Well, I can see the fence. I'm gonna have to try these out. Outdoors, of course. And what else do we have in the box? We have some almond berry plant-based seeds, a snack. We have a compass. So there's that compass up close, map compass, which you know what? I don't have one of these because I usually use my watch, but it's good to have this analog. Okay, this one looks pretty cool, to be honest. Looks like it's is it floating in water. I don't see a bubble, but that's nice. Uh, the snack thing is interesting. It's like a little snack bar. That'll be good for camping. And they also sent me a Parks Project bandana. Okay, let's take a look at this. Every product supports a project in a park. Okay, cool, and there's a little hiker on it. Here's the bandana. I would like to say it's somewhat normal size, but it has the nice designs on there. A little hiker guy, camping tent, compass, a wolf, could be a coyote, recycling, campfire, cool. I like it. And that's it. So we got the compass, the binoculars, the bandana, and the snack. Four things for 30 bucks. So was that a good deal? I'll let you know over the weeks to come to see how these have aged. Okay, Next the box. big box. The biggest one for last. Nothing like unboxing something for your pet, right? A lot of packaging. Whoa. Oh. Do not restock if seal is broken. Furbo dog camera. Whoa. Okay, that is bigger than I thought. That's pretty cool. Hello. There's the sensor. Guessing this is where the food goes. Nice. And then we have the power cable, which good. That looks to be about six feet. Oh, it's not USB-C. 
Why did they do micro USB? Okay, good. They did send a charger. So they're not like Apple and Samsung. They actually include a charger, USB-A. I would have preferred USB-C to USB-C. I'm guessing this is a five watt. Wow, 2000 milliamps. Okay, not necessarily a five watt. That is something else. I'll have to do some math. Okay, I'm glad they sent a unique charger. And then that's, that's it. Oh wait. Nope. That's all that's in the box. So here's the quick start guide. Status indicator, HD camera, barking sensor, natural bamboo wood cover, mic and speaker, treat tosser. Okay, so I really thought it was gonna come with treats. So that's where the treats come out and shoot. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy some treats. So I'm guessing this is some type of door. I'll have to read about this. Share the pack. And then I'm sure there's an app we can download. Chat with support. Okay, so download the app. Call if you get stuck, plug it in. Awesome. This is gonna be fun. Well, we unboxed some fun stuff today. Always close your blade. So new toys. A new wearable, 79%. I will give you a better review on that really soon. And the Furbo, very cool. So let me know your thoughts on all this stuff. This one is gonna be really fun. Uh, I'm excited to give this a try, especially with the dog. Binoculars, can go look for some animals. Track my health with the uh, Fitbit Charge 5. But what I wanted to do is just quickly unbox this, showcase it to you, give my first impression and then I'm gonna test each one individually. So in this video, go ahead and type those pithy comments down below your questions. Let me know what you'd like to know and then I'll earmark those and answer the questions in my follow-up video. I'll make three individual videos later this month in October or Techtober as they call it. This device has been out, in a while, has been out for a while, but I'm really curious to see how it functions and the quality of the camera for checking up on my pet when I leave the house. And then a Fitbit, you know about that. And then Nomadic, well, they send you fun stuff if you like the outdoors. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I know there's a lot of tech channels out there. I appreciate you clicking on by. And yeah, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. We'll see you again real soon. And don't forget to run farther to go further in life. Goodbye.